Late night, I've been on my grind, running all my time, about to lose my mind. I said, Hey, I, I could change your life. Give it one more night, give it one more try. Hey guys, it's Vin17. We're back in the video, and today. I'm basically going to be explaining to you guys what we have to look forward to on the upcoming months of Madden Mobile 22. Before we do start, please make sure to leave a like on the video, follow me on Instagram, and join my Discord. Link will be in the description. We're about 400 subscribers away from 12k, so if you guys could please subscribe, we're going to turn the shirt to get 100 likes on this video. And the post notification shadow goes to this person on your screen right there. Thank you for having your post notifications on. Let's get straight into it. So, uh, I apologize for not posting for the last, it's been like three or four days, boys. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, finding content on the game has kind of been a little bit difficult, so I have been playing a lot. Um, but nonetheless, this is what we have to look forward to for the rest of the year. Um, so for Journey, starting up with Journey, um, the AFC and NFC Journeys are actually going to go through something like kind of similar to what we got for Genesis. Um, so that's actually really good news if you're at this point. So obviously we got this update, you know, where we could get these epics and rare collectibles as well as iconics. Uh, we're gonna get the same thing in uh basically these journeys um every single stage uh you know at some point is gonna refresh uh with these iconic uh epic and rare uh events which you can earn these tokens and then obviously with those tokens you're gonna be able to get iconics epics rares and comments really uh you know a lot easier obviously a lot of people have gone through all their genesis events and stuff like that and are even progressing on the hard mode uh and getting these as well so that's awesome um but obviously it's going to be a lot easier uh you know as the game progresses especially with this new update that's going to come out hopefully soon uh this is scheduled for like uh i think they said january sometime then uh you know so it is january right now so maybe like late january to mid january so sometime soon that's something to definitely look forward to um as far as promos uh it's gonna probably be like this like the same format as what we've seen kind of just with some different uh different things i guess like new year's we had the firework events we had like sparklers and stuff like that but it's basically going to follow the same kind of format so we're going to have at least we're going to have a fourth of july hopefully easter um and like simple promos like that maybe even like a st patrick's promo or like valentine's day something like that um and also we're going to get hopefully team of the year uh as well later on in the year and the reason why i'm predicting that is because we did have team of the week which is a complete fail but at least you know we we had it so um it was definitely possible for us to have a team of the year um and aside from that there's only one more thing that i want to mention is that obviously the new uh rarity that's coming out sometime hopefully soon it's called mythic but uh i don't think they're gonna keep it out at that name I don't, i'm not sure what they're actually gonna name it but uh mythic is what it's called right now and it's probably gonna be like insane players like 800 overall like plus it's gonna be absolutely insane uh so it's i guess something to look forward to at this point field passes are obviously gonna stay the same so there's really nothing to delve into that um but that's pretty much gonna be it guys hopefully you did enjoy if you have any video ideas leave them in the comments down below uh, and that's pretty much gonna be it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one and peace out.